Hello friends, folks, family and insignificant others. I'm Goemon and this is a video blog specifically for my friend Luigi who, uh, who has recently asked me if he might couch surf in my living room later this month. If you happen to be unfamiliar with the phenomenon of couch surfing, here's a short synopsis for you. Couch surfing is when an aged Italian drops by to live in every room of your house for a couple of weeks, eats your food, depletes your hot water, destroys your daily schedule, and provides nothing but chaos in return. Please listen here for some excerpts of our combined Luigi and Goemon history. Enjoy! Goemon, you can thank your mama for allowing you to live! Yeah, well, about your humor... It's not funny, it's often offensive, and uh, it's not funny. If you're in this house, please try not to be humorous and automatically everyone else will be having a much better time. Go, Imon! Your pet mouse is a vermin. You should think about letting her free in the wild, where she can have a life, as short as it might be. Some people like to adopt underaged humans. Others like adopting buskers that smell of old men and rude jokes. I take pleasure in adopting pet mice from people that develop allergies or can, for some other reason, no longer continue to care for their pet mouse. When I adopt a pet, I give a promise that as a responsible guardian, I will care for my pet, provide shelter and a healthy diet, and protect it from harm. Setting a pet animal out in the wild, where it encounters parasites, diseases, food shortages and other perils of natural disasters, is quite the opposite from what a guardian would do. That would be more of a reaction of an egocentric prick who discovers two days after Christmas that his fluffy toy requires attention on a daily basis and decides to rather set it free at a parking lot on the highway. But the mouse is very mean! Yeah, for now, some people would say that hitchhiking couch surfing buskers are vermin. And talking bad about other people's pets does not quite win you points of affection. But! Uh, also, your accent sounds much less Italian, but rather like a kinky encounter between a Scotsman and a bad French actor. Okay, that might be my fault. Goemon! Look what just came out of my nose! No. Just no. Ah, but uh, that's a cognitive dissonance. Look, I'm really glad that you learned a new term. Let's also learn what it means. The science behind cognitive dissonance is very complex. And unless you are a professional psychoanalyst, you should not use the term frequently. Also, most people don't like it if a professional busker without any work experience evaluates their mental state. That is arrogant. But go, Eman, I did not eat your food. I cleansed myself. See, that is cognitive dissonance. You consumed all the food that you could get in this house without paying for it, and then you convince yourself that you were not in fact too cheap or too lazy to get your own bloody food, but instead wanted to live on a low nutrient diet. Just to make sure that history doesn't repeat itself, if you ever live in this house again, none of my housemates will be allowed to pass you on food items for less than five dollars a meal. I do not mind you cleaning off the community food shelf, but I do mind free food tourism. Some people will do not like to travel. They choose uh, not to have a life. Oddly enough, most people do, in fact, enjoy life. Some people like to travel Canada, sleep in other people's houses, call their pets vermin, make rude jokes about them, eat their food and psychoanalyze their life without being asked for it. And without having a professional background to do so. Other people enjoy a daily routine of making breakfast with their wife, tending to the garden, enjoying the company of their best friend, the dog. and watch the sports news after supper. Personally, I don't see how anyone could be so arrogant as to pass on judgment on other people's hobbies, unless it involves activities that are highly unethical. Furthermore, my dad has a personal message for you. 
Now I'm not an expert in sign language, but I think he kindly disagrees with you. And after all that crazy talk, hearing you talking about being my personal support companion, let alone taking over the house from me or caring for the house and my housemates in my stead, after literally driving me mental for a couple of weeks every year. I'm sorry, that's just beyond commenting. In essence, Luigi, I do not mind you having in this house, but please try not to occupy every room simultaneously and respect the privacy of others. Many or most of us are students and we don't have much time for chit chat, so we really appreciate the general idea in this house of peace and quiet and having the living room table available for us whenever we like. Peace out and DFTBA.